What's up? How are you guys today? I'm gonna to show you my healthy breakfast that I've been following for liver detox, which has been pretty consistent for the past few months. I've been enjoying this meal. So first in the fridge, we have our Iberico pork breakfast sausage. I've been having one or two of these for breakfast lately, usually just one because I end up eating only one and a half. I don't like wasting the food too much. And this here is our pancake batter which I make using my pancake shelf assortment. So we have the uh, Birch Benders Organic Classic Mix, which is uh, a minimally inflammatory combination of different stuff that tastes really good. I mix that equal parts with organic quick oats to add more fiber, more variety to it. So it's half quick oats, half Birch Benders pancake mix. Then I put in a little bit of vanilla powder, some salt, some sugar, and then after I add the water, I'll put in a dash of vanilla extract as well. So very little vanilla. I just like using both the powder and the extract. This is the salt down here. We use the free range meat sea salt, just some bottled water. And then the sugar is just uh, regular organic cane sugar. We have everything available guys on the frankiestrangefoods.com website. And then I do this at night so it can kind of sit overnight and hydrate. Uh, if you're doing this in the morning, then probably want to wait a half an hour. I did a recipe on these probably a few months ago now. So we're just gonna take a little bit of coconut oil in both of our pans here. Uh, saute the sausage, sear the pancakes, and then we'll sit down and we'll have breakfast with our water kefir. I gotta get some water kefir grains. We have our organic maple syrup. All the supplements are ready. My table is a complete mess. So we have two vitamin B1 and three zinc, two vitamin B1 and three zinc. That's what we're going to have at the beginning of the meal. And then at the end of the meal, we're just going to have a little bit of masticum, uh, maybe one charcoal capsule, but we'll show you guys that. All right, guys. So we have everything ready. I ended up doing two pork sausages. We got our pancakes. I got maple syrup all over myself already. I haven't even started eating yet. A little sticky. That's the uh, organic glass jarred maple syrup it's on the foods website as well we got our honey crisp apple which uh haven't really been having any i'm laughing because one of my hairs is in it um we got the water kefir grains water kefir we have our supplements and then some mastic later so uh, first i'm just gonna get a little bit of food in my stomach before taking the supplements And I've spoken about this before, but you know, it's taken me a pretty long time to get to this point where I figured out how to eat foods that are both okay for my liver as well as enjoyable and taste good. I think for breakfast, I used to just have a, like a beans and rice meal or a, just the regular lunch and dinner foods that I've been eating. And then we started having like oatmeal and then eventually these uh, pancakes. So a few bites of food in my stomach, I'm gonna take my three zinc capsules and two B1 capsules. As well as one big tablespoon of the water kefir grains. I'm making a mess. I need another, another freaking towel. I actually put this towel here so it tilts the maple syrup to one side of the plate so that the pancakes don't get soggy. I'm a little OCD. Uh, one thing I didn't show you guys is uh, this morning I had a uh, lamb testicle for testosterone. Now, usually I wolf this down because I have to get to work. But today I, I worked first because I know I have to film this. So I went to work a little bit, came home to eat breakfast, and then we'll go back to work a little bit. With this meal, sometimes I'll do more kefir greens. 
it depends on how high the carbohydrate content is. Like, it's a lot of pancakes and a decent amount of sugar, so. All right, I'm actually a little hungry today, so I kind of smash everything. So you guys have seen what I've been eating for the past two, three years now. And despite that, you know, having high quality organic foods, plenty of animal protein in every meal. Over these past few weeks, we had the issue with zinc and more recently had an issue with vitamin B1. Uh, the symptoms were actually so bad. That's how I figured out. I, you know, I mean, I used to take B1. You know, I knew it was important in the context of liver detox and recovering as the body's B1 needs are greatly increased, but I didn't realize how deficient I ended up getting. So this B1 supplement we have on organ supplements is like what you would take as a normal amount for every meal. But I figured my deficiency was so extreme. And in a lot of these studies and trials they do, this is 900 micrograms, which is about one milligram. So this is one milligram of B1 per capsule, which is what you would get from having a steak for your meal, you know, a normal size serving of steak. So this is a very realistic dose. Normal B1 supplements are 300 milligrams. So 300 times the dose of this, which is what they actually use in these, in these studies. So I had an old B1 supplement I used to take from a few years ago. So I actually took that one for a day or two. I started feeling a lot better because I needed the extremely high dose to recover. And uh, so that should get me feeling better on the B1 end. And I'll do a few shorts on that uh, this week. But basically, you know, the refined grains are depleted of B1, unless you're having whole grains. And like the water key for the slight alcohol content can put a little bit of stress on the liver's B1 stores. Also, B1 is primarily used for glucose carbohydrate metabolism. And you guys have seen, I'm eating a lot of starch, a lot of bread. Therefore, a lot of glucose metabolism is going on in my body. So I need very high amounts of vitamin B1. And the reason we're consuming an unrealistic amount of carbs and so much carbs is that they're excellent for detoxing the liver. So at the expense of detoxing my liver, I, I depleted my B1. And again, normally I used to take B1 pretty consistently, but I stopped taking it for a few months and I got severe deficiency signs pretty quickly. So we're taking the B1 and the zinc, you know, I really don't know how much copper I have and how deficient I am in zinc because we've been taking a lot of zinc for the past like month and a half now and my blood work still looked the same. The copper was elevated and the zinc was still kind of low. So I have a feeling it might take, you know, a few months of being consistent with this zinc to, to actually balance things out. And uh, hopefully I start sleeping better. That, that explains why my sleep was so bad because when you take the zinc, it like pulls copper out of the body and you know the the copper levels in the blood are going to be elevated so that raises the question like okay how do you fix it without suffering too much you know from from insomnia and stuff and i mean the simple answer to that is you know take a lower dose and and do it over a longer period of time but you know the dose i have been taking is relatively low and even taking a small amount of zinc has caused some issues so uh, maybe it's just like a few days a week or two is, is going to be bad and then I should I should start sleeping better soon but um, you know you would think taking more zinc would help the insomnia but uh, you know I've been, I've been reading a, a decent amount of literature and stuff and it's it's not cut and dry there's there's too many different types of mineral interactions too many things that can go on it's it's hard to tell outside of just experimenting for yourself and seeing how you feel taking certain things, which is why I try to, I just take the zinc in the beginning of the day and then same with the B1 and then the next two meals I have, lunch and dinner, I usually just try to uh, have the food itself with some water kefir to make sure that the minerals and everything are kind of settled down once I go to bed. Yeah, to my understanding, the way the body removes copper from the bloodstream is you know, it's filtered through the liver and then excreted in the bile. And then maybe some of it gets excreted in the urine and the kidneys. But, you know, it's, it's not easy for the body to 
to, to move metals out like that. Honestly, at this point, maybe I should just get like a liver biopsy. Let them stick a giant needle in my side and take a chunk of my liver out. That's the only way you, you know 100% what, what's in your liver, but it's a very invasive and crazy procedure. At this point, I'm tempted in the name of science to get it. I don't know how I would ever get that done, but it's just, it's just a bad idea, but it would be, it would be a good indicator of, of like, okay, this is what's in your liver. This is what you need to fix. That's like hard to say, but that's it for breakfast. Uh, the only thing that would be different is instead of pancakes, I'll just have the quick oats on their own, which is a bit easier on the stomach because I don't end up eating as much and there's a lower fat content and oats are a whole grain. So um, like tomorrow I have to like drive, do a long drive in the morning. So instead of stuffing myself with the pancakes, I might make the oats instead. Uh, so I'll just put the quick oats with some water, a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar, vanilla, basically the same recipe as what we did today, except instead of adding pancake mix, it's just entirely oats. But thank you guys for joining me. You guys want the breakfast sausage we have that lean one on frankiesrangemeat.com and then maybe in a week or two we'll have the more affordable regular fatty sausage back uh, the plain one as well as the breakfast sausage and then on the foods website you guys can get everything else whether it's the pancake mix oats sugar i mean we got everything water key for water key for grains the supplements are on organ supplements uh, but uh as always thank you guys for joining me on my health journey and uh i guess that'll be it for today so drop a like on the video leave a comment down below make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell and i'll see you guys soon i think i said this a few months ago but when i was in new york like the maid services were like good you had like maids that were close by and they, they were very affordable and they'd come in clean but out here like I'm stuck cleaning myself. Like I try to clean once a month, but.